Race to Crash Point Tower by Daniel Jose Older takes place about one year after the events of Light of the Jedi. It intersects with the story in The Rising Storm, both of which start Phase 1, Wave 2 of The High Republic. The story opens up with a new character named Ram Jamaram. He is a Padawan stationed at the Jedi Temple on Valo. He's had different experience from the other Padawans at Starlight and Coruscant with him being on the frontier. He has a particular affinity with machines and enjoys using the force to dismantle them as well as to put them back together. The Chancellor of the Republic, Lena So, is hosting the Republic Fair on Valo. Ram stays behind at the garage as everyone proceeds to the city to help with preparations. He is alerted by his droid, V-18, that communication on the planet is being problematic. He decides to go to the communications hub at Crash Point Tower to check things out. He has no transportation available, so he rigs V-18 to be able to fly him there. He arrives at the tower to find that the Nile are the cause of the interference. He takes out his lightsaber to ward them off, which is something he has never done. During the Nile's retreat, one of them drops a pouch that contains some sort of seeds. Ram must warn the others about the Nile activity back at Lunisa City. Up until now, the Nile have laid low since the events in Light of the Jedi. Meanwhile, we catch up with Lula Talasola aboard the Starhopper, who is one of the characters in the High Republic Adventure comics. She is a talented Padawan of Master Kantem Sai. She has admirations to be the best Jedi she can be. They are returning to Zine Morales home of Triment 4 to follow up on the whereabouts of the Nile. The world has been ravaged since Lula and the other Jedi were there to save the people from the Great Disaster. In the months since, the nearby moon was thrown off its axis, resulting in Triment 4 experiencing a much warmer climate. The planet went from being lush and verdant to an orange landscape devoid of water. Zine is able to make contact with a person of her past who points them in the direction of the Nile base at Vrant Tarnum. Back on Valo, Ram is caught by security trying to get into the Jedi outposts. They don't buy that he's a Jedi Padawan since he's wearing greased up robes from his mechanical work. He manages to Jedi mind trick the security officer into allowing him to send out a message about the Nile to Starlight Beacon. Shortly after, the security officer comes to and detains him in a detention facility. Lula, Zine, and Master Sai meet up with Vernestra Rowe and her Padawan Imri who have been tracking the Nile. Lula and Vernestra scout the planet of Vrant Tarnum and locate several Nile ships leaving for orbit. At that moment, Vernestra receives a transmission from Ram that has been relayed from Starlight. The Starhopper along with Vernestra and Lula head straight to Valo. When they get to the planet, communication is being jammed. Dozens of ships are fighting in the skies. Vernestra and Lula split up. When they reach the surface, Luda to go find Ram and Vernestra to go find the Chancellor. Ram is not alone in the detention center. Across from him is ex-Jedi Padawan and Saber for Hire, Ty York. They work together to break each other out of the cell by mind-tricking a Nile at Storm Inn. After Ty and Ram say their goodbyes, Lula finds Ram. She brought along V-18 and the brown back mechanics. They all use V-18 as a speeder as they make their way to Crash Point Tower. Along the way, they are chased by Nile on their speeder bikes. Lula and Ram work together to thwart the enemy, but V-18 is badly damaged. Lula and Ram get a pair of Nile masks to move through the ever-expanding war cloud of the Nile. However, they enter the zoo and have to deal with dangerous creatures. They get to the rooftops in order to avoid the creatures, just as a Nile ship readies itself to take aim at Lula and Ram on the roofs, Ty arrives on the scene. She is riding a sandville, which is a dragon-like creature. The creature makes quick work of the Nile ship. The mother sample also arrives with Zine riding on it. Ty goes elsewhere as Ram, Lula, and Zine head straight to Crash Point Tower. On returning to Crash Point Tower, vegetation has grown all over the tower. It's not just any vegetation, it's a Dren gear. The pouch that was dropped in the first encounter between the Nile and Ram contained their seeds. The Padawans are able to speak with the Dren gear who reveals that the Nile had made a deal with them. The Nile promised the Dren gear live people to harvest if they prevented the tower from being repaired. The kids persuade the Dren gear that the Nile have not been holding up their end of the deal and have in fact been killing the people. This angers the Dren gear and makes them temporary allies against the Nile who have been following the Padawans to the comms tower. With the help of the Dren gear, Zine and Lula are able to take out a few speeders. Meanwhile, Ram channels the force to disable some of the ships as well. Ram uses some parts from V-18 in order to re-establish the comms tower connection. The Republic forces can now communicate to beat back the Nile. The ward cloud of Lunisa City then gets lifted through the concentrated power of the Jedi. Ram, Lula, and Zine return to the city. Ram decides to join Lula and Zine on their next adventures. 
Through the treacherous journey, Lula learns more about the balance of the Force, and Ram learns how to get out of his shell a little bit more. So that's going to do it for Race to Crash Point Tower. I would strongly recommend reading The Rising Storm first, as that gives you the overall story of what happens at the Republic Fair on Valo. I thought that this was a great design for the story to intersect with The Rising Storm while diving deeper on a smaller character-focused story. You can find my reviews for both Race to Crash Point Tower as well as The Rising Storm on the channel now. For more on The High Republic, I have a playlist dedicated to the series. Subscribe to the channel to know when new content goes up. Also, I host a weekly Star Wars podcast called Outer Rim Transmission, which you can download from any of your usual podcast apps. That's going to do it for me, Starpter. Thank you so much for watching, and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.